Hi guys, Alex here. Welcome back to Girl Talk. I've got a little bit of mess and a little bit of drama today for you guys. First, we're going to talk about Chantal, who has actually reacted to her Cuba bees, but she quit before getting to the end. We're also going to discuss Pete's, who did something upsetting to BBJ. And then we're going to talk about Amber Lynn, who has let us know how she is doing with her outpatient program. Spoiler alert, she quit, claiming that they were health at every size. We're going to talk all about it. All that and more coming up on today's edition of Girl Talk. Let's just get right into it. I mean, shall we? All right, you guys. So for this part of the video, I did want to talk about one of Chantal's most recent streams. And that stream was actually called Reacting to Cuba Rage Educational Do Not Overthink Trigger Warning. So this live stream was actually her attempting to react to her Cuba bees rage. She wasn't reacting to the original video because that was over four or five hours. Instead, she chose a reaction compilation. So recently, Chantal has been talking about about this new man that she is seeing. And she said during this video that they had a good time because people were speculating where she was on Tuesday night because she wasn't on here in a live stream. Of course, many people suspect that she was with Natter and that this new man doesn't even exist. He's just a way for her to explain where she is because we know that when she's not online, she's probably with Natter. She said that she's not going to talk about this man. She's going to keep it private for now. And that's just for obvious reasons. Now, I'm not saying that she owes us anything in regards to her whereabouts. It's just that she's been playing this game for over a year now. Guess where I am? Am I with Natter? He he he. So it's not surprising that people think that. It makes me wonder what's going to happen with the charges that Natter currently has. I know that Chantal filed this report as well as as a woman named May. So what's next for Natter? Are they just going to completely ignore this situation? Does he have a trial? I wish that Canada's records were more open so that we could figure that out, but it's just not the case. One thing's for sure, if, I mean, when Natter is arrested, nobody's going to believe it because of that prank that they pulled on April Fool's Day. But I'm sure there will be some sucker out there willing to give them bail money. So at this point, she's getting ready to do the reaction. She has some paneer with her, which is the new Nashi, as we talked about in the previous video. She's been eating paneer like every single day. I want to try some paneer. I've never actually had paneer, so it must be good if she wants it every single day day, right? She starts off by saying she was close to blackout. She wanted to put that disclaimer out there, but we already know that's questionable at best. During the stream, she says, why do people think I'm this horrible person that never wants to be held accountable? I get, I know, I get that. I'm not wanting, I don't know why people think I'm like this horrible person that doesn't want to be held accountable for anything. Well, maybe I don't want to be, <laughs> wait, let me think about that. Of course I do lie. Whenever people have grievances with her, she goes off on her community tab, or there's another rage stream, or she does a stream like this, where it's absolutely just ridiculous. And there was nothing productive about this stream at all. In fact, I have my suspicions that this was actually an apology to Dee Dee. That was the point of the video. Natter had forced her to do this apology to Dee Dee. And that was the point. Regardless of that, I also think that she has noticed her views slipping. And this is what people have highly, highly requested. Have you guys seen Chantal's flash? So during one of her live streams over the past couple of days, she actually showed her body part down there. And it was a very confusing picture for me. Like, I just don't understand what's going on. She says that that body part swelled up like a balloon, but then she lost a bit of weight. So now it's like a balloon with no air. I don't know. I wish I could show it to you guys, but I feel like it's questionable at best. What's interesting about this situation is the first thing she wants to address is Dee Dee, claiming that her downstairs has no odor. It's not gray. It doesn't have a color. She came on here to tell us that. Was that forced from Natter? In regards to the lawsuits that she claimed that she was going to file when she got home, she laughs that off, says that it's not going to happen, which we already knew. She watches herself go off on Dee Dee. She says that she doesn't mean it. Again, this was an apology for Dee Dee. Sad thing about Dee Dee. 
I'm so sorry to Dee Dee for that. That's fucked up. She also apologizes to a couple of people in the audience. She says that she's not going to say the R word anymore. She's going to treat it as a slur, which, I mean, actions speak louder than words. Her words don't mean anything to us. She couldn't handle much of this Cuba stream, and she does end up quitting the reaction. Now, one thing that I found quite interesting was in regards to her talking about people on welfare, calling people trailer trash, Chantal says that she was was bullied by people in Section 8 housing at a young age. I found that to be one of the strangest excuses I've ever heard. I also wanted to bring to light this moment where Pete's actually grabs BBJ's face. Just take a look at this. It disgusted me. Grateful. Uh, don't you get it? <laughs> oh, come no on. Mercy. She's like 100. <laughs> Leave her 100-year-old head alone. <laughs> <clears throat> this made me so unbelievably angry. Like, who cares about Chantal lying when Pete's is actually holding and manhandling this old elderly cat like this? This is so fucked up. I just feel so bad. And they're also living in filth. Don't fuck with cats, Pete's. Don't fuck with cats. All right, y'all, to round off our discussion on Foodie today, I did want to take a look at this clip from her most recent live stream here on Cinco de Mayo. How much? Like... I guess the past year I talked about Natter, like I guess this whole year was just so the point of this clip is to kind of talk about her realization that her entire year was spent speaking about Natter. Such a swift content change is probably the reason why her views are down. It's like, you know. <laughs> we love a brief moment of clarity. That drama, that brief. relationship drama was like my whole channel. Exactly. So now it's just kind of like, I was so open about it. So people who were following that, I don't think I realized how closely people were following what I say. What is she talking about? She knows like how invested people were in that story with Natter to the point where it crossed the line several times. Now people I think are just like, okay. Lies. Now it's back to the same old mess, right? Me to still talk about stuff or to close it or to... Well, it's not necessarily about that. It's the fact that people think that you're still with this man because you're exhibiting the same behaviors that you have in the past when you were running to him and when you were hiding it from the audience, it always came out. Out, but now it's like she realizes that this could have potential legal consequences. Maybe she did get a stern talking to from the police about talking about this situation online and that's why she's been so hush hush and trying to hide it. Have some kind of outcome. Closure to the story, right? You know what I mean? I want to go home and eat paneer, but I'm not going to do it. You know what's interesting is that she still has that like curling iron burn. I'm going to break the cycle and have a taco right now. I just need privacy with this area of my life now. It's hard to put the genie back in the bottle. I mean, that's what's going on here in this situation. She was so open about her and Natter, and now she's completely closed off that part of her life. She needs privacy. It's all well and good, but people are going to speculate. So, yeah. Why can't she simply just say it's done with him? right? It leads me to believe that it's not. I think that in order for Chantal to continue to succeed here on YouTube, she needs to provide content that's actually worth watching, whether that's a new romance arc or if she does buckle down and start that weight loss journey anew. Actually providing content will be an interesting step for her. Maybe do a reaction video, but just actually put some effort into something. I think that's all people want to see at this point. All right, you guys, so I did want to take some time to discuss Amberlynn's latest video, which was Girlfriend rates my new outfit and outpatient update. Now, she said in the previous previous video that she was going to update us on her outpatient program, but she completely forgot to do that, which is funny because that's what everyone was looking for. We wanted to know what was going on with her outpatient program because she had been so vague about it lately and people had suspected that she had quit. Well, lo and behold, we've got the tea now. This vlog actually starts out with Amber counting calories and showing different outfits from Torrid, the typical stuff that she would 
see in an Amberlynn Reed vlog. But towards the end, she discusses outpatient. Amber starts off the confession a little timidly. She's saying that she's expecting quite a bit of backlash for this. I wonder why, girl. She says that her actions and the way that she behaves affects how people treat her. It affects how people perceive her. And I mean, yeah, that's not just an Amberlynn Reed thing. That's actually a real life thing. The way you behave, the things that you do, it affects how people treat you. Amberlynn has not spoken to her audience in the best way in the past, so people give it right back to her. So because Amberlynn had expected quite a bit of backlash from this situation, that's why she decided to keep this to herself for a while, but we... We knew, girl, we knew. I'm going to cry. Like, I'm literally going to cry. No, I'm not. Okay, so Amber's very careful with her words at this point. She says that she put a pause on her outpatient therapy. Now, she does still have a therapist. Amber Lynn says that the program she was a part of was very much health at every size. So just a quick rundown on health at every size from Google. This says, the Hayes philosophy is based on the idea that people of all sizes deserve respect and good health which is true, and that size does not determine health, which is not true. Research shows that there are a high percentage of people in the overweight or even obese category, according to BMI, that are metabolically healthy. Now, that point I actually do agree with. BMI is not the end all be all, especially if you're someone that is very muscular, not me, and your BMI is overweight or obese, but you have six pack abs. BMI will work for some people, but definitely not for everybody. It's not a good universal standard, in my opinion. And everybody's situation is different. But when you're over 500 pounds and most of it's fat, it's not healthy, period. And now back to Amber. Amber doesn't agree with health at every size. She knows that she needs to lose weight right now. And this clinic, they weren't concerned with her losing weight, which is concerning to me. I feel like in this day and age, people are so scared that they're going to upset someone or offend someone that they don't even want to talk about these kinds of things. But this is almost a life or death situation with Amber, and she needs someone that's going to tell it to her straight. When it comes to health, sometimes it's so critical that you can't even be bothered to worry if you're going to offend someone. Amberlynn claims that she didn't feel comfortable talking about weight loss. She didn't feel comfortable talking about her body. It felt like she had to walk on eggshells because they didn't want her to discuss these things. Now, in my thinking, I believe that their thought process was they wanted to get down to what was going on up here first. I don't think that Amber really gave this a fair shake. I do think that they wanted to help her with her mental health first because she has been trying this for so long and nothing has worked. And we know from the past when she wanted to get weight loss surgery, they said that she's going to have to do therapy for possibly years before they would approve her for the surgery. I just think that this was a slow process and Amber just wasn't willing to spend that time to really work on herself upstairs first. She wanted the weight loss. She wanted it now, but that didn't work for her in the past. I think she should have stuck this through a little bit longer. She says that she's working on herself, that the weight loss is happening and a weigh-in will come in the future. We'll see, I guess. In regards to what she is doing right now, let's switch our attention over to her Q&A app. Since you're no longer doing outpatient, will you try another program like WW, Nutrisystem, et cetera, again? Or are you counting calories now? I may have missed this if you talked about it earlier. I've never tried Nutrisystem before, and I probably never will. I think that would go the route of Octavia, right? I've heard bad things about it. WW has me eating in a way that makes me feel like I'm forcing myself to eat sometimes. Sometimes. So calories is the best bet. That's what I've been doing, and it works. So Amber says that she did about 10 hours of outpatient therapy in total, and she's taking what she has learned from that 10 hours and continuing to implement it. She wants to see if she can keep around her therapist, but she doesn't want her therapist telling her not to count calories. My psychologist was like, you're smarter than you think. And I was like, Ooh, I feel like I'm dumb. Literally, I feel like I'm an idiot. But okay, thank you. 
In regards to some community tab drama, Amber actually posted this picture of a before and after. Again, Amber is totally jumping the gun when it comes to this. She wants to prove to the haters so much that she has lost so much weight. I have seen people suggesting that in the first picture, the top one, that she actually made herself bigger. As you guys can see, the wall looks a little bit wonky. I don't know about that, but if she really wanted to prove to people that she lost weight, wouldn't she simply step on the scale. The scale doesn't law. In regards to what is next for Amber on her channel, she does mention on her Q&A app that she has recorded a one hour long response video to Young Dumb Honey Bun. She has had a lot to say about Honey Bun on her Q&A app recently. Here's what she has to say. Looking forward to the hour-long response to YDHB. We're holding you to that. To which Amber replies, it is already edited and scheduled. I have videos scheduled for the whole month of May. I am effing amazed. So this makes me wonder, does she already have these videos uploaded for the entire month of May? Are we going to be getting old recycled content? Maybe. To wrap up the discussion on Amber, she did say that being this size has put her life on pause and she's ready to press play. All right, you guys, it's our favorite time of the day. And that is, of course, comment of the day. Today's comment comes in from my previous Girl Talk video. This is from Eric, who says the following. She's a liar, packing an overnight bag to stay at Natter's on her stream tonight, lying and saying she's meeting up with a new guy, spending the night at a man's house you've never met. And she said she may be going hiking. Who else has been hiking in the mountains lately? She will always go back to him and lie to us with a smile. She continues to lie. And that's proven by the fact that she didn't even have anything to say about this quote unquote date with this guy. If it was really a new man, she would be running her mouth about the entire date, giving us the entire play by play. I just don't buy it for one second. All right, you guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. What did you think of her reaction to Cuba Bees? And what do you think about Amberlynn quitting outpatient? Say it isn't so. So many disappointments today. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And I will, of course, catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.